All right, we're doing smash or pass, Stardew Valley. My cam's a little bit in the way. Wait, hold on, let me pull it like this. Okay, now you can see everything. Okay, so we got smash, platonically, and pass. So I made platonically for like, being your friend. Thank you so much, Amr. We'll be live for another eight and a, eight, eight hours. Uh, eight hours and like 10 minutes. The timer is slightly off, that's my fault. Um, hi, Fee. How are you? The timer is slightly off because I messed it up. Um, thank you for the follow. All right, so let's get started. Oh my god, Kato, you're so cute. Let's get started. Okay, so first up is Abigail, and that is an absolute straight smash for me. I love Abigail. She's my favorite Stardew Valley character. It's an absolute smash. Ooh, I actually haven't got a baby. We can switch. Mine isn't nice anymore. <laughs> Thank you. All right, what do you guys think? Abigail, smash or pass for y'all? Or platonic. Platonic. I made platonic because we have some children in here. <laughs> I don't want to be weird. <laughs> you don't know Stardew Valley, but it's a smash. I it's definitely a smash. Oh, can you bring me a knife and a fork? They're very soggy now. Hi, Kong. Smash for the purple hair alone. Exactly. All right, next up we have Alex. And I almost wanted to make another tier just for Alex. For being an absolute douchebag, just like garbage. But I don't want to be mean either. Just the thing when we were little. Oh my God, Jane, we look so similar. <laughs> we're just twinsies. Pass. He's judgmental. For me, he's a straight pass. A straight pass. Does anyone in here like Alex? Still pass. I think so too. I think we can all agree he's a pass. You married him? Really, Jordan? What do you like about him? Or have you just not talked to anyone else and you're like, well, I guess that's my only option. <laughs> What do you like about Alex party? Come on. Oh, I'm sorry, brought in that size. Well, to me, when I was giving him gifts, I see. So he's getting better, huh? I honestly never bothered to befriend him because I just didn't like him. Mm. Her, I'm not gonna lie, I forgot her name. I forgot her name. Now, she might be old, but honestly, honestly, she's a smash for me. She is so loyal. She's the fisher from um, Ginger Island. She's been sitting there, being loyal to her husband after all these years. Amazing character. She's loyal as hell, yeah. You want you want someone like that in your corner. 
Yeah, there's an island. Ginger Island. That's an easy smash for me. I stand her. Test giveaway. <laughs> Who wants to do a test giveaway? <laughs> That's not even from me. The SE staff is in here trying to fix and see what's going on. <laughs> Seems like it's working again. Just, just. So everyone's aware this is not an actual giveaway. <laughs> Close to the pig as well. <laughs> Aww. Oh shoot. Sorry, thank you. Wounds. Point. Thanks so much. You. Bad girl. Okay, next up we have the bouncer. He's the bouncer from the desert. And he's gonna be, you say platonic? Rather than shooting stars? Yeah, those were points from stream elements. Shooting stars are from Twitch. You're saying Smash? He's a pass for me, because as soon as we get the card, he just disappears in thin air. He literally goes poof in front of your face. When you smash him, he's gonna be gone. He'll, he'll be gone. He'll be gone. I don't know. Well, what if he just disappears in the middle of it? Right, Sausage, thank you so much for all the subs and being here. I appreciate you. That's unfortunate then, exactly. Gotta eat some of it. Enjoy. Next up we have Clint. And I think we can all agree. He's a pass dude. He's creepy as hell. He's gonna stalk us dude. If we smash that dude, he's gonna be all weird. He's gonna be all weird, man. Nah. How they turn out? Ooh, enjoy it, one rare rose. I hope they're gonna be good. Mm hmm. Exactly, Amy. Rat flag. Thank you, George. Caroline. Hmm. Hi, 
me to you. Thank you. The tonic. Hmm. You enjoying this day? Smash, you smash her? She's pretty cool. She don't have a husband. Hey! He's Abigail's mom. Connections to the wizard? We'll smash that. Hey, Squire! Thank you. Reason not, honestly, reason enough. Now, Demetrius. <laughs> There's a magic connection. Steps on. He's also controlling a Maru. Not just that. There's also this one. He's married. <laughs> Thank you, J-Bob. That's not our problem. <laughs> he's a pass for me because he's like such a such a know-it-all. I'll be like mm, tomato is actually a fruit. Yeah, exactly, Cuddle. That whole. Tomatoes are fruit one. It's big now now. Sorry, wife in top first place. If it's Abigail, then yes, she's also my waifu. So he's he's a pass to me. Thank you, Yumaru. You know any of these characters? <laughs> Abby has a pass. Why is Abigail a pass? Tomatoes are fruits. You should you, should, you need to watch the cutscene because it's a really annoying one. Grandpa's there. Well, that's why we have platonic. Okay. Now this little guy. He's got a shop, and he's got some real nice things. Smash. Platonic. Hey, Sonic, thank you so much. Platonic. Well, we don't really know his age, right? So maybe a platonic. Maybe better off platonic. All right. I don't care. Elliot, hard pass. I hate Elliot. I hate, I hate him with passion. Okay. When you get to know him, you'll go to the pub with him, and he's like, "Beer for me and a wine for the lady." I hate him. He's, he's honestly, he can hold hands with Alex. I don't care. I hate both of them. <laughs> it's Alex and me. Exactly. Both so annoying. I hate him. I hate him. They can, they can be together. Oh, that's some damn whiskey. Turn me away from him so fast. Right, Poldorable? Like... So sexist. Like, at least ask what I want. I don't assume because. I don't know. I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. Emily of Straight Smash. She's crazy, but she's got good stuff. Smash. She's a little crazy, but she's got some good stuff. Thank <laughs> you. 
impressed. <laughs> You're split with Emily. Hey, Jack, thank you. Why is that? What do you not like about Emily? I like Emily. Evelyn. Well, Evelyn is gonna be a platonic. <laughs> Makes the weirdest comments. Yeah, I, I also, yeah, I think, I think platonic for her and George. I mean, Bir maybe Birdie should also be platonic because she's hella old. George, George, you pass. I don't know. I feel like George is really sweet because, like, when you get to know him first, he's like really grumpy. But once he warms up to you, he's actually like really kind. What can we do to make like this like a the like Windex and more like a warm Coke? How dare! George just want to get face with Linus. I like him too. I have a friend who unironically likes warm coke. Oh god. I mean, Gil is. I don't even know what Gil is. He gives you free stuff, so I guess platonically. Other than that, we don't actually argue that much. Two lemons and broke his knees with them. Yeah. Now this guy is a pass. He's so douchey about the whole soup thing. Like, so judgmental. Like, what did you bring for the soup, governor? What did you bring? You just come here, you judge a little valley, and then you move on. That is rude. Rude. He's a, he's a straight pass. Now, Grant, <laughs> listen, this is in Alabama, so he's gotta be platonic, all right? Although, you know, Grandpa is, I mean, he, I'm like 30 50 on that. He leaves us the entire farm. Yeah, what did he bring for the soup? Nothing. Disappointment is what he brought. But then he's also judging us. But I guess they made him more gentle. If I played Stardew Valley when it came out. And he's actually really harsh in like the first version of the game. Like when you don't do anything, he will like be really mean about it. They, Hans and I actually changed that to make him nicer and not so mean. <laughs> That. Could have been the sugar daddy, but he's or grandpa pokey. What the fuck? Who's this guy again? Oh, that's the museum's guy, right? All right, museum's guy is also a straight pass for me. All right, he gives us some rewards, but like, what's he doing to restore his museum? He's just standing behind his counter and he's like, oh, I can't get anything. Like, huh? You're not doing anything. <laughs> you think those things are gonna magically fly to you? Well, now they're gonna because it's me. Because I'm here now. They're so bouncy. I'm glad you like them. Never turn your back on family. He's so rare, yeah. Although, I mean, does give us the ancient fruit recipe, but does that really make up for all the shade? Faith throwing. That gifted stuff to grandkid. Fair enough. Hey Miles, welcome back. How's your nap? And we have Gus. Now, Gus is a business owner. He's kind-hearted. He gives food to Linus. Uh, he's an amazing cook. I mean, he's a smash. He's a smash. Really? I mean. He's one of the best dudes you could potentially date in this game. I mean, you can't date him. But, like, he's a really good candidate. Yeah, if not him, who then, you know? He might be the only functioning nice person in town. But I never did this time. Also, fun mustache, right? Fair. Alright, then we got Haley, and Haley is just, she's just a pass for me. She warms up to you and is then nice, but in the beginning when you meet her, she's so, so mean. I just, 
It doesn't matter how sweet she is, like the comments she makes in the beginning, like we basically have to gift her things for her to not be an absolute fucking asshole towards us. Hate her. Hate her so much. Go buy its cover. Absolutely, yeah. She's like, oh, you're the farmer. Maybe you're cute if you put on some nice clothes. Never mind. Made him for Alex. Right? They're perfect. Or honestly, Elliot. I'm surprised. I mean, Leah and, and Elliot are both autistic. But I'm surprised that they didn't pair Elliot and Haley. I don't know. Annoying. Now, Harvey is a doctor. So... Other than that, he's pretty boring, so he will be a platonic for me. But he is a doctor. Why is he pass for you? For me, he would be a platonic one. He's kind of boring, but you know, he's a doctor. Good to have that in your corner. The physical attention, fair. Fair. Now this little guy, he works for the witch with the wizard's ex-wife. What a decent job. You're not a boring person at all, Saruta. Now he's gonna be a platonic for me because he's got all the witch's info. Like he can give us, he can give us all the deets. You know, all the inside information. He's it's come right from the source. And of course this kid is a platonic. <laughs> it's a kid. I'm not gonna be weird about it. That time again, Jess. Oh, Jody and Ken. I mean, you know, I just feel bad for those two. I just feel really, really bad. I, I'm just feeling bad for both of them. I mean, I feel like she's not really a good mom. I never see her spend time with her children. And he is in war, so like. She's working on it. True, she is throwing the entire household. Ken hasn't done anything to like offend me. You know, platonic. He also sends those bombs, which is concerning. But handy for us. Now, Jody. Hey, Aggie, thank you. I appreciate you. Hmm. I don't know about Jody. I mean, she's 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 gonna be a platonic. She's all right. She hasn't done anything to like really piss me off like these guys. So she's a, she's a platonic. She's eyed. Now Krobus is amazing. Amazing. I love him. He's he's gonna be a smash. Platonic. Nah, he's gonna be a smash. Leo's a child, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put him in platonic. I like him. Leah! I know a lot of people because I don't want to sexualize Krobus. Oh. Yeah. I guess you're right. We don't really know what he is. And we can only have him platonically. Let's just be friends with him. Leah! I know a lot of people have a lot of love for Leah. She hasn't done really anything for me to don't dislike her like these people. But I'm not I'm not super crazy about her. I mean She's cool. But she's not like an Abigail, you know? But I'm gonna go with Smash. I'm gonna go with Smash. If I got her house. <laughs> You know, I, I'm gonna put her on Smash because she's really self-sustainable. I feel like she's a really, like, grown adult. Um, so it's a Smash. I mean, do we even need to talk about it? Like, what a douchebag. What an absolute douchebag. Golden statue of himself. You know, forces, forces poor, um, oh my god, what's her name? Marnie, to keep their relationship secret. Absolute pass. What a douchebag. Other than their faces. She does chase her dreams. True, she does chase her dreams. Made us grab his boxers. Yeah, what was that about? 
His pants in her bed. We're like, why isn't he getting it? Ugh. He sits right up here, honestly. Okay, now Linus is my absolute favorite character in this game. Um, but... I mean, Smash for sure. But would he want that? He's, he's my absolute favorite character, even more than Abigail. See there, sugar mama? It's really funny how I react. You can take care of, I promise. Yeah, I'll bring you berries every day. Um. Marlin. Marlin is a smash. He's cool. I like him. Never judges us. Straight up pretty badass. Gives us a sword. You know, trusts us. Smash. Smash for me. You can. You can, Kathy. It's a rugged, manly look. He's just cool. He doesn't judge us, you know? Marnie, yeah. <sighs> I mean, you know, Marnie is a bit annoying, but also, you know, she takes Shane in. She supports his, you know, hobby of the blue chickens. And, you know, what's with Jaws? Like, I mean, we don't think that Jaws is her daughter, right? Because they look wildly different. So she took, she took Jaws and Shane in. You know, so I... Good <laughs> looking. She calls her Aunt Money too, yeah. So I feel like she's pretty good for that. We don't know where Jazz comes from. You know, I'm gonna say platonic. I cannot good heart I put her in the same tier as these assholes. I'm gonna say platonic. She's not my favorite, but I gotta respect her for supporting her family, you know. Gotta respect it. You know, the one thing that I did notice is that I feel like Joss and Shane might be... I don't know, I feel like they also look like really close related. Now, Maru... Maru's gonna be a platonic for me as well. It's kind of the same reason as with Harvey. Like, I like her. She, you know, she's smart, she's independent, she does her job. But she just, you know, she's not an Abigail, you know, smart, hot science lady. I don't know. Thank you, Imperial. I'm all about, I mean, I'm all about that too. And she's like, definitely, it's just the same reason as with Harvey, you know. She's, she's not bad, but she's just not, she doesn't have the, you know. Now, Morris, straight smash. Just kidding. Obviously a pass. Morris is obviously a hard pass. I mean, he is not any better. Dor, thank you so much for the five months. Happy birthday, Dodo. Definitely a keeper in your book. Thank you so much, Dor. Scary horse like in there. Dodo Bezos, is that you? Yeah, he's a, he's just a pass. I mean, he's an obvious pass, right? He works for the big corporation. It's just eat the red, you know. Just don't have the red. They don't have the red, man. I don't know. They just don't have that special some some. Now this guy, this is Mr. Key. He's awesome, dude. That's a smash. Tammy, thank you so much for gifting three months to j Bong. Thank you. Yeah, Haley is a definite pass. Haley is a definite pass. She's such a bitch. Like, she grows nice to you if you give you a bunch of cake. Ooh. Nice. I'm not about that. I'm not about that life. I'm sorry. I know it breaks some hearts with it, but I don't like her at all. Thank you, Tammy. He can be my sugar daddy. He's cool as hell. He's really cool. I like him. 
Why is key pass for you, Alba? You give me lots of K. Yeah, but you don't tell me, oh, you look poor, basically. You're so dirty. Ugh. You know what I mean? Let me get Pam. <sighs> yeah, the thing with Pam. I just, I feel sorry for her, you know? I feel really, really sorry for her. Like, <sighs> she's a terrible mom to Penny, but she, I mean, she gets her act together later. You know, I feel like Pam just needs a little bit of help. You know, once we get her a job back, And, and build her a home. She like really turns her life around. I feel like Pam just really needed some help, man. Not a bad person, just needed some help. Pam alone is a pass, great. You and Haley would get along great, Saruta. Hi, Fennec. Pam is a really hard one for me, man. She's, she's an asshole to Penny. But I just feel like after a little help, she gets back on her feet. You know? I just, I just feel like she's a little lost. You know? I'm gonna... I don't feel like she deserves Pat. I don't... It's a tough one for me. It's 50-50, honestly. I'm gonna put her... I'm gonna put her in platonic because once we do get her help, she is improving. And for the better... And permanently. No more abuse of her daughter. She's getting her act together. I respect it. Penny. Penny is a smash. That's an easy smash. I love Penny. So funny, yeah. You see her character development in positive, but not Haley's. Well, the thing is that Haley just gets nicer to you because you give her a ton of presents, right? Pam, for me, is someone that, you know, was let down, like, her life let her down. She had so many hardships. And she was in such a deep hole of, like, depression and problems that she just couldn't pull herself out of. And no one was willing to help her. You know? <sighs> but cleans up. So, like, Haley is just being an asshole while I feel like... Pam just has actual struggles, you know. To be fair, I'm definitely not the people who give me food gifts, but I mean, first, unless you give me a reason. Yeah. She's an abusive daughter, in my opinion. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm like really 50 50 on her. It's hard. Pam is a hard one. Pam's a hard one. I don't know. It's a hard one. It's really, really hard. up penny though penny is an immediate smash she's amazing she's so kind she's so gentle she helps everyone she teaches the kids like honestly i really like penny she's cute she's got a lot of character you know i like her a lot yeah is an immediate pass you know honestly he's not any better than jojo market not any better than jojo market Pass, just pass. I hate him. And what she had, yeah. I admire Penny. And how she's just not even gift her things. Yeah, exactly. I think the reason the character is so funny is you're so experienced in the game. <laughs> I know the in and out. <laughs> Listen, I made I may have made this a sub goal, but this was the content I wanted to make for a while. I tricked y'all. <laughs> Alright, we got the museum guy from the island. I mean we don't really know a lot about him. Poor fist fighting Joja guy. Professor Snail, he's all right. He's not a pass. 
He's not me. I mean, look at these guys. These are actual assholes. I mean, he's a, he's a platonic one. He's a I. He's a I. He's not, you know. Not crazy. I mean, honestly, I'd go as far as saying smash, but I'd be terrified for his poor heart. Man's old. You know? <laughs> Man's old. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Robin. Okay, I know Robin has an insane horny fan base. I'm well aware. I want to marry Robin first. I didn't realize she was married. Yep. I was unconsolable. Yeah, Rob Robin has a huge fan base. Hammer and Saw Mommy. <laughs> Robin, you didn't know that? Yeah, Robin has a huge fan base. I mean, she's alright. She's alright. I like her, but she's a platonic for me. She's alright. Mommy on TikTok? What the fuck? She's alright. I like her. I like her, but you know, she's not like... I wouldn't go as far as saying Smash with her. I don't know. Now Sam, Sam. Okay, so Sam's Sam's just a Labrador. He's a Labrador. You can't put it any other way, right? He, he's a Labrador. Like he's sweet, but he's he's just a little puppy, you know. And he has a band. He is my number one. Robert is messing. <laughs> Invested too much time in a Robin. I like her, but oh, you know what? If I put Caroline here, I'll put Robin up here too. I'll put Robin up here if I put Caroline up here. Fair enough. We smash her. Red hat. <laughs> He's a skateboarder. Yeah, I like Sam. Yeah, I guess that's a smash. Why not? He's nice. He's a Labrador. I just feel like life with him will be so, like, uncomplicated, you know? He seems like low maintenance, you know? A bit too boring. I just, yeah, so I feel like maybe he would be a bit, like, too... Um, not he I think he wouldn't be independent enough for me because his mom's taking care of everything right like I'd be I'd be worried that he kind of is like a little mama's boy that's what I'd be worried about you know Sandy is a smash yeah absolutely Sandy is a smash Sandy is straight up smash Yeah, I'm just gonna shove Vincent in here. All right, down to the last four. Oh man, I don't know about Sam. I mean, I feel like he'd be the easy and uncomplicated choice, but I would also be worried if, you know, he'd be able to carry his weight in the household. I don't know. I like him, but I don't know. Nah, I don't, I mean, I don't know. He gives me more like little brother vibe. You know, like, he, he, like, I just feel like more like he'd be my puppy than, like, Smash, you know? And, yeah, I mean, Sebastian is a Smash for me. He was the first one that I married. It's just, like, I can change him. Also, I feel like it just makes sense when you look at my husband. Like, it makes sense why I married him. <laughs> My husband's also a nerdy loner, so it just makes sense. <laughs> it just it just makes sense. <laughs> Old is the smash gory, but homeless. He might be have a yeast infection. He's keeping himself clean. Yeah, why would you talk about Linus's way? Also, there's. 
For real though? Also, there's condoms. He goes regularly into the bathing house. Was my first and she's my top. I love her too. You never go up there. Also, you don't get a yeast infection from being dirty, Sam. Actually, you get it from being too clean. Thank you. Now he pays more than you. How dare you attack my Linus? He smash. So there's Barbara doesn't show. Yeah, your Barbara doesn't even have a fucking bathroom. <laughs> so she just she literally just said i never go to the bathhouse so you never bathed your father doesn't have a bathroom <laughs> bathe where nah we ain't about that line of slander here <laughs> Now, Shane. Well, that one's. Uh, guys, can we really fix him? I. Uh, I mean, he does get therapy, okay? But I feel like before we get with him, he should get into therapy. Like, before we get with him. I married him. I married him before. Shane is amazing. His blue chickens and everything. I admire it all. But I just feel like... I don't know. I, I feel like he should focus on himself. And just... Addicts are... I don't know, guys. I don't even know if he's a platonic for me. Because same thing. He's just an asshole when you meet him. Yeah, he's trouble, but that's, you know. I married him before as well. He's a really kind person. Once you get to know him and he gets therapy and stuff. And it's in love too. Yeah, but we also got to watch out for ourselves. And I feel like he should deal with his own shit before he involves other people in his shit. Smash. Chris, now you're projecting. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, but like Shane is troubled. Haley is just a bitch. <laughs> I uh, right after therapy, <laughs> Shane's just miserable. Yeah, Shane is just trouble. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'd be friendly with him, but... has clean room on mods. You know what? I'm gonna say platonically. I'm gonna say platonically. I'll be there for you as a friend, but I'm not gonna involve myself too deep emotionally into your drama. You know? I can't risk marrying him and then being dragged into this, you know? Like, get therapy and we can think about it. But you know what? It's okay, Dodo. I knew you had no taste anyway. Well, I put him in platonic! Willy platonic? I don't know. I don't know. Say that I have daddy issues, but he's a smash. He's a straight smash. I mean, I don't know. Something about it. He, he'd have to take a shower because I do not like the smell of fish. But he's a smash. <laughs> he's a smash. I mean, he's a smash. <laughs> he's just so warm and kind and... I'll, he, he's... He'll slam the clam if you get what I'm saying. Yeah, I just think he'd be like... 
real romantic about it too. I don't feel like he'd be smashing. I feel like he'd be making love. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop. Older looking man? That's not true! Okay, maybe I do have daddy issues here. <laughs> hey, oh come on, but he's in here! You know. <laughs> Very concerned. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. Since there is no going back anyway, I mean, the wizard is just <laughs> fucking... I'm not even gonna pretend like he's not gonna be a smash. I'm, I'm not even gonna pretend. I'm just not even gonna pretend. <laughs> This has been eye-opening. Tell me about it. <laughs> All right, listen. Hey, at least he's George. George is not up there. Thank you, Minorina. Learning a lot about it. Okay, but it's not just okay. Listen, not all old men are up there. Okay, see, these are down. Here, and there's also some young ones in there. They just have the most character. What can I say? Alex is just arrogant and boring. Sam is just a little Labrador. Like, where's the character in these guys? These two need to work on themselves first. See, he's not up there. <laughs> no, I didn't say you're a Labrador. I said you're like Sebastian. You're a nerdy loner. I'm, he was the first one I married in Stardew. So I feel like that's my type and not old men. <laughs> Why have I done this? I feel so exposed. I didn't even realize that. Okay. <laughs> okay, listen, maybe therapy is sounding kind of cute right now. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> One time chat found out my time and I've never lived it down, so good luck to you. Oh. It's a nerdy loner and apparently old bearded man. Okay, listen. Listen, guys. We all subconsciously pick partners that remind us of our parents. The older you get, you realize you're not that old. Maturity level can be a downer. Mr. Key old but no beard. Fair. Because I'm fearless. <laughs> well, it doesn't have to be your dad. Not be your mom. Because I'm again, which doesn't match either of my parents. I have a good relationship with my dad. I don't know where this is coming from. 
And no one pulled Alabama into this, okay? Don't make it weird. My relationship with my dad is wholesome. Don't make it dirty, okay? It's wholesome. So you won't disappoint them? Wow. Stability, which means a lot to me. Yeah, it makes sense, right? Makes sense. Wait, can we, let's download this. <sighs> Download to show your therapist? Yeah, really. Oh my god. 